today you will read the algebraic structures. Mainly uh, in this study of algebraic structures, uh, we will read uh, how we can define the algebraic systems, their properties and then uh, we will try to identify uh, that between two algebraic systems what are the properties shared and so that they are structurally they can be identical or what uh, relations are there uh, in, in respect to the algebraic structures. We will read So, first uh, we define uh, the what do we mean by algebraic systems. Normally, algebraic systems, they are uh, the examples are that um, we know that uh, these are group, ring, field and the more uh, simplest form semi group, monoid like that. So, first we try to uh, define that uh, algebraic systems. So, uh, it is uh, consists of a uh, set. So, algebraic system consists of a set or rather we call non-empty set and some operations. on the set and they hold some they hold some properties and based on these properties we will try to identify the different uh, systems and So, mean uh, systems and then their proper, uh, properties uh, the we will try to identify the structures they hold. So, here the main important thing is the operations that on the set that we define and the properties also. So, first we uh, define that uh, what are these operations. Okay. So, these operations Normally, this can be some um, functions, some transformation or sometimes we call some function means sometimes we call it is a mapping. So, these operations that can be uh, a unary operation like unary operations like or um, subtraction, unary minus we call the unary operation as unary unary minus then our binary operations where the operation that it operates on the um, two operands like plus or simple multiplication, division all these. Now, in general I can tell in general that it is some n array operation, n array operation. 
So, this in a n array operation I can define that in general I can n array operation we can define that if we consider a set on empty set A. then an n array operation associates an element of this set to an n tuple where each member each member is of is in is in set a so normally we call a an to a so this is in general the nre operation now, this can be a binary operation this is a, a, a cross a to a and our addition is a binary operation like that. So, now we can formally we can define the our algebraic systems. So, now if we define our algebraic systems since we know the set we know now the operations on the set uh, S. So, we define algebraic system. Okay. So, an algebraic system sometimes we call this simply an algebra is a system that contains a non empty set S say A and one or more operations. Just now we have defined the operations on the set A. Now, if the operations are denoted as as F one, F two, say this, then the algebraic system. is a we define as a a f 1 f 2 in this way. Now, I can give that otherwise it can be. Now, in addition in addition if we add some relations with this algebraic system. So, in addition if we consider some relations C 
say R1, R2, defined on the set A, that is I can denote A, F1, F2, all these operations and R1, R2 with all these relations, then this form a algebraic stru structure. Then this system form a algebraic algebraic structure. So, in summary I can um, tell that algebraic system is a set non empty set with some operations on it. And if now we define some relations on this set, then this set non empty set A along with the functions and the relations we can tell that these are my algebraic structure. Now, uh, first we see some general properties. So, we read some general properties because based on these properties first we will try to identify these properties and we will be defining uh, the different algebraic systems or algebra. So, some general properties of First we see that the operations that just now we have defined the algebraic systems the um, set non empty set A and the different functions or um, the operations F1, F2, etc. Now these operations that we call these are closed operations that means what do we mean by closed operations? that say if I consider that say my addition the set is okay, the set is um, integers say integer normally we denote as z and the operation is simple addition operation is or simple addition. Now, if I take element A and B belongs to A, then A plus B, this is now here it is Z. So, that is here A B belongs to Z integer. Then A plus B also belongs to z because z is set of set of integer. So, up on the op operation under the op uh, operation plus that the, the element we get the a plus b that also belongs to z. So, this is it calls the property of closure or this operation is closed it is the closed operation. Now, we see another uh, say example we okay. say I take another example of um, the set we take the set is a set of odd integers. 
set A is odd integers. And the operation is say addition. Now, the now the addition or this it is not closed. It is not a closed operation or closure property does not hold. You can write the closure property does not hold under this addition for this set of odd integers since here if I consider that E 1 okay, I, two odd integers I consider that O 1 and O 2 are two odd integers then O 1 plus O 2 always this will be equal to the even this is some even integer. And And I have so we have considered that O1 O2 belongs to A, A is set of odd integers, A is set of odd integers, then then O1 plus O2, O1 plus O2 does not belong to A since it is even. So, it is not closed. So, the so it is not closed. So, now we start that we, we write the all the general properties of algebraic system. So, since now we know the closed operation or we can even write the first property is the closure property. So, the properties So, I give that we, we give some name that this is a 1, this is a closure. And closure under say addition that means, we here we consider that um, two operations when this system we are considered, we consider two operations plus and dot. With these two operations, we try to uh, identify the properties. So, and I can write closure with plus and dot. Now, I give the property of A 2. A 2 I consider the property of associative, associative property. respect to addition. Now, 
if I consider as a element a b c. So, we consider set a and where a b c are the belongs to a. Now, as just now we have de defined the closure means that I can write that some a b belongs to a then a plus b belongs to a a dot b belongs to a. Now, associative property I can write that a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c. Now, I write a uh, property A 3 which is commutative. With respect to addition that means, A B belongs to A then A plus B equal to B plus A. I give property A 4 is my identity exist some identity element say here 0 is the identity element with addition. So, identity is that I get a plus 0 normally if e is the identity element so a plus e is e plus a equal to a only. So, in respect to addition we know that a plus 0 is 0 plus a is a. So, 0 is the identity element. So, here e equal to 0. Now, I get some uh, inverse element. So, if there exists an element in the set A such that if A B belongs to A such that A plus B equal to the identity element. So, here it is 0 equal to B plus A. So, then B is the inverse of A. So, additive inverse of A. So, say A minus A is the additive inverse of um, A. So, additive inverse uh, is exist here. Now, I get now I if I consider the property or with respect to the my multiplication say dot. So, again this uh, I can consider the associative property associative property with respect to dot. So, I can write similarly that then multiplication that a dot b dot c is a dot b dot c. Then a 7 is the property is called the commutative commutative with respect to multiplication and we can write a dot b equal to b dot a. Now, we write the property A 8. So, the identity element identity element with respect to dot and we know that one 
this is the identity, identity element since a dot 1 is 1 dot a equal to a. So, 1 is the identity element. Now, I can write 9 that is the my distributive properties. So, now, we, we have two operations. So, I can write two operations plus and dot. So, distributive properties with respect to addition and multiplication. So, I can write a dot b plus c is a dot b plus a dot c or b plus c dot a I can write b dot a plus c dot a. So, here I can write that multiplication dot is distributive over addition. Now, I can write uh, two other properties that this is called the cancellation. property that I can write that if a dot b equal to a dot c implies b equal to c if a not equal to 0, if a not equal to 0. Now, one another is idempotent property that is a dot a equal to a and a plus a equal to a. So, normally these are the properties and two operations a plus and dot we uh, define then these are the properties we will study on the set a. Now, we take some example that how actually the these properties uh, are hold and uh, identifying those properties we can uh, define some algebraic systems. So, one simple example is see the uh, algebraic system say um, set of integers and the operations are simple addition and multiplication. Okay. Now, we, we can see that this satisfies this algebraic system satisfies all the properties that a 1 to a 10 all the properties a 1 to a 10, but not the idempotent property. Now, we consider another one that another example we consider which is the we consider the set of uh, mat 2 by 2 matrices. Okay let the we denote 
say 2 by 2 matrix on integers values m to z are all, all 2 by 2 integer matrix. And the operations are operations or simple addition and multiplication. That means, my system is m to z plus and dot. Now, you see that addition under addition all the properties that means, it is closure associative commutative identity elements is also there that. So, it will be up to a 5 we see that m to z if I consider plus that means, this algebraic system satisfies all the properties that up to the A 9 the distributive element, because I am taking all the properties A 1 to A 9 here the with respect to addition the identity element is element is 0 0 because if I add if I take say 2 4 3 1 plus 0 0 0 0 I will be getting element wise addition. So, this is 2 4 3 1. Then with respect to multiplication the identity element is 1 0 0 1. Since, if I multiply 2 4 3 1 to 1 0 0 1 simple matrix multiplication we will be getting 2 4 3 1. Now, the inverse also exist the inverse element with respect to addition this is say if it is say 2 4 5 3 the inverse is minus 2 minus 4 minus 5 minus 3 because this is the my additive inverse. Now, in this way we, we can it we, we can see that it is commutative it is uh, under addition and some multiplication, but only the cancellation is does not hold cancellation means our property a 10 a 10 why that property a 10 that is cancellation does not hold. Since, if say if a is 1 uh, 2 by 2 matrix say it is 0 0 0 2 and I consider B is something called 1 2 5 6 and my C is 7 8 5 6. Now, see that if I multiply A B then this A B is 0 0 0 2 is 1 2 5 6 
and this equal to this is 0 then this is also 0 this is 0 2 that means 0 into 1 2 into 5 10 2 in, then this is 10 and 12. Similarly, if I get a dot c then it is 0 0 0 2 dot 7 8 5 6 then I also get 0 0 and 10 and 12. So, I get a dot b equal to a dot c, but we see that then also b not equal to c even my a is not equal to 0, a not equal to not equal to 0. So, cancellation property this cancellation property does not hold here and idempotent uh, does not hold. So, if I take another example, see the if we consider the uh, power set of S, we know the power set of S, we denote P S and the two operations we said the uh, union and um, intersection. Okay. The sum and product, so the union and the intersection, union and intersection. Then our phi the null set or empty set, empty set. is the additive identity and the set itself S is the, the set itself is the multiplicative identity. However, here there is no additive inverse exist. That means, this additive inverse is the uh, inverse element that a phi. So, there is no, no a phi. So, in this way we can actually so, this is that a 5 is not there. So, in this way uh, we can um, identify the um, different algebraic systems and what are the properties they hold. So, in the next lecture we will uh, try to identify that our many common and popular algebraic systems and we will see that what are the general properties they hold. Actually the, um, the properties they are satisfying based on this that actual the al algebraic systems are defined and then we will study their properties also.